Hey guys, Taylor here with Axis Vehicles. Want to give you a quick walk around of this silver 2023 all-wheel drive Ford Transit in a 148-inch high roof. Uh, really good looking van. We built this for Newburgh Ford here in Oregon. They're going to be selling it on their lot. I believe it'll be available as soon as this weekend. Uh, if you're interested, give us or Newburgh Ford a ring. Um, we've had a bunch of inquiries already. I think it's still available, but uh, from all sounds of it is it's gonna go quick. So anyway, let's do a quick walk around. So uh, came in as an all-wheel drive. We put the Quigley Q-Lift on it, which lifted it two inches. And then we put the BF Goodrich KO2s in a 245, 75, 16. Uh, so that lifted up about another inch. Now uh, these are the Ford factory wheels that came with it, which are pretty nice looking. Up top, we have a Flatline Van Co. rack uh, surrounded by a Fiamma awning, two Zamp 95 watt solar panels on top, and then we have two Max Air fans up there as well. For lights on the outside, we have a rigid dimmable exterior porch light, fancy new Axis stickers. On the front, we have a flatline van nudge bar. Also, they have some light mount options as well. If you want to put additional lights on the front of this, uh, they have light mounts for it, which is really nice. Uh, the roof is finished out with a side ladder. And this is kind of the business end of the exterior of the van. So underneath, we have our water port, the S-Bar petrol heater exhaust right there. And then we have our shore power here on the left and then additional portable solar here as well. So if you need more power, uh, you can easily just hook into that instead of adding more to the roof. Back is pretty standard except for that sweet sticker we got right there. Oh man. All right, going inside. This is our revolver build. So our revolver layout is this right here, ooh la la. So seats five and sleeps five. So this lower jackknife seat with three lap belts folds down flat. And then this upper bunk here pulls out to a six foot by six foot upper bunk. Uh, with the high roof, you get quite a bit of room above in the upper bunk, which is really nice. As far as the ceiling goes, I've got lights throughout by Lunacy. They're dimmable, which is really nice. Two Max Air fans, a bamboo ceiling, our upper cabinet, starting from the front, got a swivel seat. This is our lagoon table with our lagoon table mount on the B pillar. This table mounts and stows right here behind the galley when you're driving. It is adjustable. A bamboo countertop with a nice Rivati sink. Comes with a strainer. 10 gallons of portable water. South code locking latches on all of the cabinetry. Soft close Blum hinges and door slides. This is an Indel B truck fridge. A little freezer in there as well. Lawn seal commercial grade flooring. All our power is controlled through a Red Arc Manager 30. As you can see here, we're inside. It's almost nighttime and we're still showing anywhere from 8 to 12 volts from solar. So pretty cool. This is our controller for our heater, our furnace. A carbon monoxide and liquid propane monitor. Blue Sea uh, breaker panel, 110 volt outlet. And this is our exhaust for our heat. Soft close pantry lid. Got additional storage in here. If you want to remove either the lower jackknife seat or the upper bunk. They can both be removed so you can have multiple configurations or take both of them out to use your van as an actual van. You can put 
motorcycles, couches, lumber, whatever you need. Lower one is mounted on L-Track. Oh, nice and dark in there, but you can see the L-Track. So just four bolts from the top on the inside and this whole seat pops out. Going around towards the back. You can kind of see the lower cushion here. This cushion as well as these cushions up here are all made by Romerest here in Oregon, as well as all of our window coverings are made by Van Made Gear here in Oregon as well. Uh, these are insulated and magnetic. There's a picture of the additional L-Track. We have a lot of customers that will remove this lower jackknife and then use this area for toys, surfboards, bikes, dirt bikes, all sorts of stuff. And here's our electrical panel. We exclusively use Battleborn, and this is their 270 amp hour heated battery. So with lithium, lithium doesn't like cold temperatures, and this is internally heated. So when the temps get cold, especially when you're backcountry skiing for the day and you come back, your, uh, your battery will still be operational. Uh, all marine grade components for all of our electrical, everything is heat shrunk. It's also crimped and soldered. So all our connections will not come loose on you. I think that's it for the quick tour. If you got any questions, give us a holler at Axis Vehicles. You can email us directly at info at axisvehicles.com. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think and give a call if you got any questions. Have a good night. Thanks.